Ayo, this is an unboxing video. So, these are the new class reunion boxes. One of them is the little one. The little one is the size I expected it to be. It's about the size of a DLC pack for this game. Neat. This is the big one. The big one is... Uh, Freaking huge. Way bigger than I thought it was going to be. And I am really curious about what is inside these boxes. I assume that if you clicked on this, then you are also reasonably curious what is inside the boxes. Let's find out. <sighs> This is not a professional setup. You've probably figured that out. Alright. So. That opened with a minimum of self embarrassment. Up front, we've got some booster packs for League of Villains. Great set. Great set. Okay, got a little plastic baggie. This is where all the special promos are at. It's a useless tray. A booklet. Huh? Uh huh. Looks like, uh, learn to play stuff. Hey, it's a picture of Literation Gaming. What's up, Levi? Alright. It's got uh, previews of what the possible class reunion rares are. Um, how to sign up for organized play if you haven't done that. it's possible to figure out which events these are and I could do that some different pictures of what is organized play uh, organized play is pretty rad by the way if you haven't done it I recommend it uh, but yeah so first up this is one of the little packs and let's find out what uh, Sure, how to hold this and then open it at the same time. This is a journey that we are going through together. This is what it looks like. Okay. The cat has decided to join us. Alright, so we got the future is now. Which is the card you are guaranteed to get. Foil looks nice. Foil looks really nice, actually. It's got a good pattern on it. Duplex. Again, neat foiling pattern. Got the uh, Dark Shadow Surge. Cool. A card that deals with stun. There should be more of those. <laughs> yeah, the coiling, foiling pattern for the most recent sets has been absolutely fantastic. The card looks great. Let's see if there's anything interesting in the booster packs. Incredibly professional, I know.
for anyone who's opened a bunch of set four product. This probably is not going to be the most interesting part. It's a good set. All the cards in it are good. I am curious if there is some Ooh, an ultra rare. Dignified displays a cool ultra rare. I am mostly going to be opening these to see what the shiny cards are. Uh, there are a few shiny cards that I do not have play sets of. Opening these packs with one hand is hard, I don't recommend it. Check out the scissors. You know? If I had like a good setup, I would have had scissors handy. Heck yeah. Punch him in the dick. Alright. Yeah, this part. This part's hard to film. Ugh. For the big box, I might skip this part. Because I respect your time. Ooh. Got an Agile Drop and an XR Kurgiri too. Heck yeah. It's got cool lines on it. Nice. Anyone who's buying the class reunion packs is probably buying them for the, the promo cards because that's the the new part of these packs. But set four is great, and there's always some cool things to find in it. Hey, another ultra rare, neat. Two ultra rares and one uh, thing. So now for the big awesome box. Anyone who has born with my terrible presentation this far. Um, I hope this is enjoyable for you. I'm super curious what's in this box. Because, like, their previews or their, you know, descriptions, but what does that really mean? Slides from the side. I think. There's probably a neat way to open this. I'm not doing that. All right. Actually, looks like a pretty cool little card box, and you can always use more card sorting boxes. Hmm? Yeah. All right. I assume this is the same booklet. It is the same booklet. All right. Got a packet of sleeves. Yeah. More sleeves. Always handy. Those look pretty cool. Dice. Oh, these are some pretty sick looking dice. Just, uh. Now, like, good YouTubers have, like, like, a camera rig and a setup, and they don't have to show themselves fumbling. Ugh. Pretty jealous of those people. So, fun fact, I love dice. I love them. These look pretty cool. So, we got it color-coded, and it shows the speed. That's neat. Oh, damage dice. That's cool. I like that. I'd like to play Warhammer with these. I'm going to need a lot of these. Alright, 
We've got three damage dice. We've got three zones, it looks like. This would be the low dice. This would be the medium dice. It's pretty cool. I, I love using dice in the game, actually. Um, usually I use like an abacus between them to indicate uh, plus and minus to the left or right of the numbers. But this is cool. Ooh, acrylic tokens. Yeah. Apologies. Oh, that picture of Moonfish. Moonfish is so incredibly gross. Fun to play. Incredibly gross, though. You honestly gotta think that's part of the reason you're playing. Alright. So this side is nice cube. Frozen. That is actually really handy. This is, uh... Looks like a ready. Um... I'm guessing you would use this to indicate cards that you've already readied for things that can only be readied once per turn. Or can only ready things that haven't been readied. That's a pretty handy token. Freeze is things that don't ready during the next ready step. A lock. I wonder if this is represent sealed. Could be. I don't know. There are probably instructions I didn't read. And bricks for Qbert. I assume this means build. Things that you've built this turn. I can't immediately imagine a scenario in which that's relevant. But it is a cool little token. Someone will correct me. Okay. Seems like a pretty standard insert here. If there's something cool you can do with this, I don't know what it is. Again, a little promo pack. It's got the future is now on top. I'm going to struggle with opening this. It might help us start with the room. I apologize. You should not have to deal with video quality. More pictures of the moonfish. Yeah. I don't know how he sees. His power involves growing teeth. I assume we must find them by like sense of smell or something. Yeah. Alright. So the future is now. Cool promo art. Really good ability. Yeah. That's a cool card. Haughty. That is a mesmerizing foil pattern. I like it. Big numbers. A million percent. In fact, mm. that's really cool. All right. Dark Shadow Surge. If you like Bird, it's a pretty cool looking card. Blazing Icicle. All right. Some neat foil patterns. The Gran Torino Agency. Uh, you know, it's, it's cool. And another run away. Nice. Um, I'm going to open these packs in my own time. Uh, there's six packs. Hopefully there's something cool inside. If you've watched this far, uh, congratulations. Yay. Yeah. These dice are sick, though. These dice are, these dice are cool. They feel good. It feels like uh, it's not just like a sticker or a decal, but like actually part of the dice. I would like more of these. That's probably the best part of this, apart from the you know the promos and whatnot. Yeah. All right. 
Good night, everybody.